Hey guys, it's Michael. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are covering the five most common mistakes you can do while training with a weighted belt. So stay tuned for the video. Let's start directly with mistake number one, which is not closing the belt during your training. If you don't close that belt, there is always the possibility that the belt can slip over your bum and hurt your feet, destroy the floor and just create a dangerous situation. So when you are mounting the weight on your belt, make sure to close it somehow. If you just have two carabiners, then just go through that one ring here and mount it on the other side and then the belt will close automatically. As you can see, this can create some metal on metal situations here. Not too comfortable, but it works. A better option would be to have three carabiners. And that is also why our King of Weighted Belt comes with three, because then you can easily put one carabiner in the middle and you have the belt safe around your hips. It cannot slip off and everything is centered. So let me show you how that looks. Two here and one in the middle, keeping the belt safe. And then I can train and move without the belt slipping over my ass. Let's directly go over to mistake number two, which is hanging the weight too high. As you know, most common weight belts come with a pretty short chain and that has several disadvantages. The first one is the shorter the pendulum is, the more likely you are to be influenced by the pendulum, which brings you instability in your lifts like pull-ups and dips and you don't want to have instability in your lifts. The second disadvantage is that if the chain is pretty short, what happens is, is you have bigger plates. There are pulling your legs apart from each other. So you cannot really create stability. You cannot keep your legs straight because yeah, you are um, too much affected by having a middle split instead of a proper lift. So when you're going to purchase a weighted belt, make sure that it comes with a very, very long strap or a long chain. So you can place the weights pretty low and the King of Weighted Belt comes with a pretty long chain and as you see then, I can control the weight with my feet, I can get a proper bracing, can use the, the weight as a counterbalance part and I'm not too much affected by the pendulum. So, long chain for the win. Let's talk about mistake number three, which is probably more common than you think. Um, I'm working out at the moment with 35 clients and in almost every feedback I experience this mistake over and over again because people are just not aware of it. So mistake number three is a crook's weighted belt and not having it centered. If you take a look at the position of the belt, if I'm now going into a pull-up, I want you to watch my shoulders now. Due to the not centered weights on my feet, I also can't keep my shoulders parallel because the weight is pulling in different directions and then that can really create imbalances in your body. So when you are attempting a set, make sure to get everything centered. The belt needs to be centered and the weight also needs to be centered if you have more than one plate. And then if you're training, that results in a way better form and also more equal shoulders, as you can see now. Let's continue with mistake number four. And here we are going to talk about the belt position. What you often see is people wearing the belt way too high and placing it on their lower back. And that has some negative effects. As you can see, it creates pressure on my lateral ab muscles and it creates pressure on my lower back. And when we're dipping heavy, when we're pulling heavy, what we don't want to have is stress on our lower back. Let me show that to you how it looks when I dip. 
Now I always have the feeling when the belt is too high that it pulls me into an ATP, into a hollow back position. And on the dips, I want to have a stable PPT, so a posterior pelvic position, which the belt is now working against. So the belt is working against my dip, which is not feeling good. So what I want you to do to keep your lower back safe and to have a better positioning from your hips and dips is really place the belt on your hips. We want to have the weight here on our pelvic bones and not on the lower back. That is also the reason why we decided to not have a back pad on the King of Weight belt. As you see, it's pretty slim because a back pad would create even more pressure in that area and take load off your hips. And we want to have the weight here. So that is why we decided to get rid of the back pad. You will feel the difference if you try to dip with our belt. And now what you can see is that the extra weight now doesn't pull me into that hollow back position and I'm having a way easier time to activate my core and to activate that hollow form. Whew. Mistake number Five. four is only about the setup. And mistake number four Five. is using a metal chain instead of a fabric one. Uh, you can use the king of weighted chain, it's a nylon chain, or you can also use a regular rope. And why that has many advantages, I will show you now. Let's take a look at the chain. The first disadvantage you all know is when you are putting the chain on your clothes, you're going through the metal rings, you will always have those small fucking holes in your shirts, in your trousers, everywhere. Like I've lost hundreds of t-shirts already just because of weighted calisthenics. So first big disadvantage of the chain. The second one, 100% you all experienced it already. If you're having the chain hanging on the weight and then you want to control the weight and you press your legs together against the weight, that chain hurts so much on the inside of your legs because it's creating pressure and it's hard, not soft. And if you have a fabric chain with the same advantages, you have the holes here to shorten and lengthen the chain, but you don't have the disadvantages. It's soft, it doesn't hurt, and those fabric materials, they don't impinge your closes and they also don't destroy your closes because closes cannot get impinged between the chain links anymore because there are no chain links. It's just fabric, so big advantage, big disadvantage. When it comes to choosing a weighted belt, what I would also recommend you to is use one where those metal rings here are covered by fabric. Because, let's just put the weight around, if you have it like this and you then Take the chain, put that through. You can also, as you see here, my trousers are sliding with through because this is not protected. If I have the fabric under it, I don't have the pain here from the pressure. My skin and my trousers is protected by this piece of fabric. So when you're going to purchase a belt, make sure you use one where the ring is covered in fabric. Uh, it's more comfortable, less pain, and it's better for your closest because they won't get impinged and create holes. So, if you want to purchase this beautiful piece of weighted equipment, make sure to check the link in the description. The pre-order is open now. Shipping will start probably in the mid of August. And yeah, wish you a lot of fun with your King of Weight belt.